Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. We have to talk. You guys, this name thing is interesting. So yes, I did in my last video go deep into the name of it all. You'll know why I'm dancing around it. I do not speak of that name. What I mean is the name given to their daughter. Only refer to her as Lily. And I'm not coming for kids. I'm saying their parents are a-holes. It's up to you if you believe the kids exist. But I'm saying the parents are a-holes. They did this name thing. They did this on purpose. It is my belief that they did not get permission for the name. They probably just floated the name Elizabeth without further explanation and sprung this on Her Majesty the Late Queen. I just can't say this enough. If it wasn't done out of spite, if it wasn't done to hurt people, which is my opinion of what happened, if it wasn't done for those reasons, then why, oh why, would you name it after somebody that you accused of such horrible things on national television? What I want to talk about today is the incredible backlash this is getting, and I'm here for it. You know, it couldn't have happened to two more deserving people. They have brought this upon themselves. They have continued to be just dreadful, ghastly, horrid people. And here they are. As I mentioned in the earlier video, you know, we knew this. We know this about them. But the public at large doesn't know all these details. They don't remember this stuff. So I'm so glad that, again, it seems to be... The major news out there right now is what a-holes they are. It's nice to be able to see <laughs> karma, if you believe in that sort of thing, catching up to them. And in this case, I do. And it is. And I'm sure you guys feel the same way. I just want to yell, what took everybody so long? But finally, <laughs> they're able to see it. So I want to get into this latest article. This is, again, out of Daily Mail. I just, I thought this, we'll get into it. But I thought she did a great job of explaining again why they're so awful at every turn and what the hell is wrong with them, everything we've been saying. But I just I, I just felt like the need to point this out again for those who are just joining us in the back, right? <laughs> we need to talk about this. For those saying, how could they use a name to agitate everybody? Oh, oh, don't worry, they've done it before. Just a reminder that allegedly the name Archie was uh, Prince George's name through security. So doing that caused a whole thing for the Wales family. So of course they have a history of doing this sort of thing, using the names for attention, using the names to dig at people. Can you imagine using your baby name to try to irritate your family, to try to, what's the word, uh, needle them to try to be horrible to them? Yeah, that's what they do. And when they're caught, they throw around the S towards, in fact, when I was researching for this article, I was just taking a look at what people were saying. And sure enough, the Meghan and Harry supporters were saying that the Queen didn't want them to use the name because of the ist words they like to throw around. No actual digging into what's going on, that it might be a private name that she wouldn't want used for anybody. No, no, no. Let's make it about the things that it's the same thing Megan and Harry do. It's they throw around these accusations with no real proof, no real foundation, just to try to shut everybody up. But I think it's good that finally, again, people can see it. They know what they're doing and throwing around these accusations, these baseless accusations to try to get people outraged on their behalf. It's not working. People can see through it. I mean, South Park did at least. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. Let's see what she's saying. Nadine from the Daily Mail writes, the Queen's final years were overshadowed by Harry and Meghan's hunger for publicity. She embodies every virtue they lack. Amen to that. My heart broke after learning her anger at their legal threats over that name. So she's referring back to this book that's coming out. I've already discussed it. It comes out this Thursday, the 18th. I'm unfortunately out of town, but um, I still have videos coming out, so don't worry. But I will be covering this book, hopefully starting next week. I'll be able to pick up a copy and jump in because I'm excited to read it. I'm here for it. Anything bringing up this stuff and taking down Harry and Meghan, I'm here for. All right, let's get into this. It says, the book has shown an extraordinary light on the inner workings of the contemporary monarchy. From the passing of the Queen at Balmoral to the secret plans for a regency and event, in the event she became incapacitated during the final years of her life. But nothing 
prepared me for today's front page revelation that our late queen was, according to Accordia, as angry as I've ever seen her when Harry and Meghan furiously insisted through their lawyers that she had given permission for them to call their daughter that name, the late monarch's private family nickname. Normally, it would be like, oh, it's a name, who cares? But this is a big deal. This is using something allegedly without permission and doing it in a malicious way to try to get a reaction out of people. In my opinion, it's not just to dig at Her Majesty the late Queen. It's also to try to fool the general public. Like, look how close we are to her. We can even use her nickname as our daughter's name. We're reminded that the dastardly duo, I don't say their titles here, fired off an aggressive legal uh, threats to anyone who dared to suggest the queen was anything less than delighted. This is something I've heard as well, something I talked about. That's their favorite thing to do. They can accuse anybody of anything they want, but ooh, if people turn around on them, they fire off scary legal letters, right? Uh, yet now, thanks to this book that I'm so excited to read, it appears the last years of Queen Elizabeth's Rain were overshadowed by not only this extraordinary decision, but by Harry and Meghan's hunger for publicity and tendency to air their grievances on TV and in writing. What else do they have? What other skills do they have? I'm not justifying it. I'm saying like these two losers. (laughs) Again, I'm just so happy to be where we are now and it's finally catching up with them. The queen embodied every virtue this parallax it was loyal, dedicated, hardworking, and driven by duty every day of her life, at times, if we're honest, to the detriment of her own family and happiness. She always put the nation first. Can we just take a minute and highlight this? Amen. <laughs> I love this writer so much. I think that's so beautifully said and exactly how most of us feel. She was loyal, dedicated, hardworking, things that driven, things that Harry and Meghan have zero knowledge or clue of. I mean, they're lazy blanking grifters, right? I think, what was it, Bill Simmons coined that, and I think he's my hero for that. But um, yeah, they, she's everything that they will never be, and they they can't get it through their thick heads why that might be the case. When I read the revelations in Robert's book, my heart almost broke for the king. What a burden he has had to bear over the last few months as his younger son and that one, (laughs) that one's wife, had shared private, sorry, countless private details about the family and started fights with the media. How painful it must have been for Charles to see his ailing mother so upset and his own son and daughter-in-law's behavior not beloved daughter-in-law, that's for Catherine. Um, (laughs) Anyway, his own son and daughter-in-law's behavior and then lose her knowing how she felt in her final years and having to console the nation. Thank God he has Camilla to keep him grounded. It continues on, why do they, Harry in particular, keep acting like this? Because they're awful, awful people. I've often said that the death of Diana might be behind it. We all remember, okay, This is where I get frustrated. I will not play this game. Many of us, most of us, have lost a parent, a sibling, somebody close to us. It does not give you, you know, a spouse. It does not give you this free pass to act like this. It does not give you a free pass to accuse people of horrible things like they have done. It just, no, it doesn't. This is ridiculous. I've so many times said William had the same upbringing and we see him completely turn out I mean, polar opposite, family man, driven, hardworking, amazing guy, right? Future king, Uh, complete opposite of that one. So no, I don't give him a free pass. I I don't like that whole thing. And people bring it up in the comments and I do get heated about it just because it just, uh, I mean, it just doesn't give you a pass. Who among us hasn't had some sort of tragedy? You don't get to act like this. So it continues on, but William walked on that day. Oh, yay. Okay, I didn't read ahead. So they're saying the same thing. William also lost his mother. He suffered the same pain. That's what I've been saying. He went through the same things. Yet his behavior has been exemplary. Pulls apart from Harry's. That one is about to turn 40 years old. He's an adult. 
He needs to start acting like one. That is something else that has come up quite a bit when these articles call them a young couple. They're not. They're my age. We're not young anymore. The gig is up. I don't get to act like an asshole and say, oh, I'm 40 years old. No, <laughs> that's not how life works. Thought she did a great job with this line right here. Ready? All his endless therapy sessions don't seem to have given him the tools to put his experiences into perspective. Bam! That is so good doesn't seem to realize that while he's had undoubtedly suffered personal loss, he's one of the most privileged people on the planet, not one of the most put upon. The death of a parent in a young life is no excuse. This is what we've all been saying to behave badly toward your surviving relatives as you grow. In fact, the opposite is true. Ding, ding, ding. In his memoir, that horrible book we read, among other revelations, Harry chose to tell the world that he lost his virginity in a field. Ugh. But how strange that in the same book, Harry failed to recount the details of a phone conversation in which the queen supposedly, allegedly, gave her blessing to him and Meghan for the name of their daughter. I think that tells us everything. So that's it for the article. You see why everyone's fired up about this, especially me. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. And again, I love that we're talking about this stuff. I think it's important to continue to talk about this stuff. They do not get a free pass. Oh, God, they really do make me sick. It really does. Seeing these pictures makes me ill. Uh, love her, Majesty the Late Queen. I called her my queen in the last video. I had people saying, it's funny when Americans do that. Nope, she'll always be my queen. Don't care. I'm an honorary Brit. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm working on moving to England, you guys, as soon as possible. Don't tell Jay and the kid. Um, no, seriously, though, uh, she'll always be her, my queen. I love Her Majesty the Late Queen Elizabeth. I love, of course, Catherine, Princess of Wales, William, you know, you know the whole thing. So I think it's great that all the awfulness that those two right there, put everyone through. See, even here pisses me off looking up and seeing this picture. Hey, I know. Let's make this situation about the ourselves, right? It was a funeral. It was a time for mourning. It was a time for reflection. No, let's hold hands and make it about ourselves. <sighs> anyway, these two continue to be the worst. I'll continue to talk about it. As always, thank you guys for everything. I love all your lovely comments, your supportive messages. I feel like a lot of us are doing that collective sigh of relief. Like, thank God the rest of the world finally sees it. Because it, it, it's maddening, isn't it? Like when you, again, when you look at everything they've done, all the hurt they've caused, and then to run around with their crocodile tears playing victim, it just, it truly is disgusting. Guys, that's it for me. You guys truly are the best. Thank you for everything. I want you to know how much I appreciate your comments. Dying to read your comments on this. Really want to know your thoughts. I especially just love that line talking about how Harry goes on and on about virtue signals, if you ask me, about therapy, but it sure as shit doesn't seem to have fixed him or Megan for that matter. So here we are. Glad the rest of the world sees it. Oh, collective sigh of relief. Thank you guys for everything. You know how much I appreciate you. If you want to further support the show, there's several ways to do it. I mean, the easiest way is make sure to hit that thumbs up. That really does help all the engagement. The comments, even if you don't know what to write, just write Hong Kong. I get it. It's cool. Thank you so much for everybody who writes me. Um, that We have the merch, Not Bloody Likely. Recollections may vary. Indeed, right? Um, oh, I'm so excited about this book. This is the book. Uh, like I say, I'll be picking this up. But um, if you want to further support check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where you too can become an executive producer, just like the geese and ganders you see before you on the screen. It's where I do my bonus episodes, my deep dives. Sometimes I just sit on the mic and cry. No, it's just, I just have real conversations about what's going on and what people are talking about, what's going on behind the scenes, what's going on in the comments, what's, you know, just everything. So if you're interested in you know, bonus information, extra deep dives. I've been going over old um, interviews with Megan. It is eye-opening to say the least. Uh, we have a great group over there. So check that out if you're the least bit interested. Again, it's patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. Guys, thank you so much for all the lovely comments. I appreciate it so much. And I truly hope you all have the best day. I can't wait to bring you 
more stuff like this. And I uh, can't wait to see what pisses everybody else off soon. So <laughs> take care. Bye-bye.